Hey everyone, welcome back. Just hanging out here, looking at pictures of Starman. So cool. Just chilling above the skies in low Earth orbit. Oh man, I am so glad Elon Musk is a genius. Otherwise, you know, we'd never get to see these sweet pictures. See how cool this looks? <laughs> Elon Musk is so awesome. Totally my hero and stuff. Man, SpaceX is the shiznit. They're the bomb. In fact, they're like the shiz bomb. The only thing is that, you know, everything looks so fake. I mean, this doesn't really look real at all. This image up here in the top right corner, this one doesn't really pass the eyeball test. And none of this really makes sense. I mean, the car just spins at the perfect speed, at the perfect axis as if it's spinning around on some sort of mechanism. And then you got these little white flake looking thingies that keep flying upwards. You know, what are those? And why are they always moving upwards in the picture no matter which way the car is facing? So they're not moving away from the earth or anything like that. And another question. Why did the live stream cut out before the rocket began its third and final burn that took it out of Earth's orbit? Now, obviously, the camera lasted long enough because we supposedly got this shot of Starman way further out from Earth. But if the car is oriented like this on the rocket, as seen in this picture, then why is the camera even facing this direction backwards to begin with? You know, I, it would be really nice if I could just ask my hero, Elon himself, these questions. Well, as a matter of fact, here he is. So, Elon, what do you have to say about the puzzling quality of these images? Um, yeah, it's... Uh, I, I mean, I've... I've um, 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 so, the uh, um, the, the colors all look like kind of weird in space. There's okay, well, come on, Elon, you gotta admit just a little bit that something looks fishy here, don't you? Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. You can tell it's real because it looks so fake. <laughs> I, I know, right? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What did you say? Well, I think it looks so ridiculous and impossible. You can tell it's real because it looks so fake, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you a little bit about why these guys are laughing so much. Not only do people believe that Starman is actually up there in orbit on its way to Mars, but there's also something else that they know about that most people don't. Well, the people may have known that David Bowie was playing on infinite loop in the Tesla Roadster that Elon Musk sent into outer space. But what they probably don't know is the reason why. And part of it has to do with the practice of gematria or gematria, which is a large component of numerology practiced by the elite that a lot of people don't know about. And this is the practice of coding numbers into words. In English ordinal, David Bowie equals 94. And this is the most basic cipher. It assigns a number to each letter in the alphabet relative to its position, 1 through 26. And if you add up all the numbers in the name David Bowie, you get the sum of 94. Using the reverse alphabetic order, where Z is 1, Y is 2, all the way through A as 26, SpaceX equals 94 using that method. David Bowie died a little over two years ago, back on the date January 10th, 2016. If you measure from the date that he died to the date that SpaceX launched Falcon Heavy with David Bowie music aboard, it was two years and 27 days. Now, 227 is a very significant number in the study of numerology. First of all, 22 divided by 7 gives you 3.14, the first three digits of pi, and it's the first equation to do so. In the language of Gematria, using the alphabetic order, 
If you write out 22 divided by 7, it also sums to 314. Now 227, this is the 49th prime number. The two songs that are playing on Elon Musk's Tesla Roadster that's spinning there up there on the Falcon Heavy rocket are Space Oddity and Life on Mars, both by David Bowie. The first of these songs was released on July 11th, 1969. This also happened to be about a week and a half before the moon landing back that same year. Well, from 1969 to 2018 is 49 years. And if you look at a full list of all the launches that have been done for Falcon 9 and subsequently the Falcon Heavy rocket, you'll find that this test launch that just went up on February 6th, 2018, they call it FH1 here, but as you can see, it's the 49th flight all time. So you have this rocket named Falcon Heavy that takes a Tesla Roadster up to outer space with a guy named Starman playing two David Bowie songs, Space Oddity and Life on Mars. In Reduction Gematria, which reduces every double digit number to a single digit by adding those digits together. So for instance, M, the 13th letter, one plus three is four and you end up with a four. Well, in this method, Falcon Heavy equals 49. Tesla Roadster also sums to 49. David Bowie equals 49. And both of these songs, Space Oddity, 49. And Life on Mars sums to 49. If you reduce the reverse alphabetic order, called Reverse Full Reduction here on my website. The name Starman equals 49. How about that? And it's, it's still tripping me out. I mean, I'm tripping balls here. <laughs> yeah, me too, Elon. So looking at those images, I just couldn't help but think like, man, we really are living in the film 1984, aren't we? And isn't it bizarre that there was a movie called Starman that came out in the year 1984? I, I bet the first, you know, when they first, whoever it is, like, whoever's like, you know, when they're like, first launched, like, a seven. And isn't it wild that we had this opening scene from the movie called Heavy Metal back in the year 1981? And you can't help but realize how similar it looks. You got a guy in a spacesuit riding in a convertible that's slowly twisting and spinning in orbit above Earth. I mean, how wild is this? This heavy metal movie came out on the date August 7th, 1981, which means Elon Reeve Musk, who was born on June 28th, 1971, was 10 years, one month, and 10 days old. So you have three ones here. And not to make something out of nothing, but this big rocket here is a lot like three ones, isn't it? Why is this interesting? Well, in Gematria, in a cipher called English Extended, which most closely mirrors the ancient Hebrew Gematria and Greek isopsophy charts, Elon Reeve Musk equals 1,110. <laughs> If you follow any of my work, you know by now that I say the primary hoax codes are 13 and 33, and I talk about this all the time, dozens, maybe hundreds of times. If you go on my blog, it's always talking about the hoax codes, 13 and 33, and I always give examples of them in all these fake news stories. And that's because the capital G on the Freemason emblem has a gematria value of 13 and 33 using the two ciphers that take capital letters into account. Well, this time let's measure from the date that this film came out, which was August 7th, 1981, to the date of the Falcon Heavy launch, February 6th, 2018. And look how many days it is, including the end date, 13,333 days ago. Can you believe that shit? <laughs> <laughs> 
a lot of people wonder why Elon Musk would lie to you. And that's because this man is tied in with masonry. See how the 69 is at the top of the Masonic arch in the dead center there? Elon Musk's full name, Elon Reeve Musk, sums to 69 in reverse reduction. Also notice how it's 57 reduced and 165 English ordinal. Those are the same two numbers as Scottish Rite, 57165. It's the Scottish Rite of Freemasonry whose headquarters is in Washington, D.C. and runs our government. His basic name, Elon Musk with the 29 reduction and the 43 reverse, that's the same as Masonic, 29 and 43 reduction. Even the name Elon has 62 and 17 in it, just like the word Mason, 17 and 62. And again, it's masonry that's responsible for the lies of space travel in the history of this country. Now, there's actually a little more about this heavy metal film that I wanted to show you. First of all, notice the budget of 9.3 million. Of course, 93 is a famous number for government propaganda like we're seeing here, 93. Well, the 93rd prime number is 487. And when you take SpaceX's full name and plug it into the calculator, look at that, it sums to 487 using the reverse alphabetic order. And if that's not enough to convince you that these two things, these two entities, Heavy Metal and SpaceX are intertwined. Heavy Metal came out with a sequel in the year 2000. It came out on the date July 10th, 2000. And if you measure from that date to the date that SpaceX was established on May 6, 2002, it comes out to exactly a span of 666 days. You know what I noticed about this that really just blew my mind here? Look at this. 666 days is also 20 months, 21 months and 27 days. With English extended, which I just showed you earlier, very basic form of gematria, 666 equals 2127. How wild is that? You got the 2127 in 666 days. Well, anyway, a lot of people think that SpaceX and NASA are different en ent entities. National Aeronautics and Space Administration, in the language of Gematria, sums to 666 using the reverse alphabetic order. So there's a whole lot more to this big time Freemasonic numeric ritual that we just saw. Uh, I'll link to my blog post down below where I look at all the numbers that were on the screen. I also explain why they cut to the people cheering here at exactly 4 minutes and 30 seconds. Um, and then we talk a little bit more about hoax codes. Um, the last thing I'll leave you with here, uh, even if we include Jewish gematria, which is based on the original Latin alphabetic order, you'll see some of these more modern English characters towards the end. The word Freemason in the four base ciphers sums to 42, 48, 96, and 147. Using Jewish, it sums to 307. And think about how the dashboard of the Tesla Roadster said, don't panic. Don't panic has these same five numbers in each of these ciphers. Not a coincidence. Also notice the 147 that matches the value of outer space. 147. Outer space, just another Freemasonic conspiracy, apparently. All right, everybody, that'll do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Check out the links below if you'd like to learn more about Gematria or check out my blog to see more breakdowns. God bless. And it's, it's still tripping me out. I mean, I'm tripping bulls here. <laughs> <laughs>